played against a team tonight in Duke that obviously were very well prepared early on in the game. Uh, they created some problems for us, uh, caused us to have 11 turnovers in the first half. You, you always look back at the last possession and Emphasize that, and that's the game. That's the play the nail, put the nail in the coffin. But those turnovers early on, the eleven turnovers in the first half, and the uh, our inability to keep them off the offensive boards in the first half, uh, I thought really, really made a huge difference in the game. Down the stretch, uh, we had a hard time uh, contesting those shots. I thought they did a very good job. Two young players, very talented. Some of those shots were contested, and I thought they did a very good job of just making them. They did a very good job of putting them, staying with their system. <coughs> we had a chance uh, during the end. We basically got the things that we were looking for. We just came up a little short today. I guess a really, really good Duke team that has a chance, I think, to, to win it all. Questions, please? Any questions? Was your defense, did you expect to do to run that play at the end, final play? I didn't expect them to get the ball at the elbow. But I thought we had that cover. You know, um, so I didn't expect them. I expected them to, to get the ball in bounds, but not a direct pass out of bounds to a guy at the elbow. Um, they did a very good job of, of creating some misdirection. Right. I got to go back and look at the film and see how, how uh, he delivered that pass right on the money. Exactly. We had a 7 4 guy right on top of the ball, and I thought that would be enough for them to at least have to go in another direction. Um, but that short amount of time on the clock. Great execution by them, great finish by a very good play. Leonard, what did you learn about your team today against the, you know, one of the most talented teams you've probably ever been in the building? Yeah. Yeah. I, learned, I learned that we got to get better. We got to we got to be a little more consistent. I, I, we didn't. We were, We had to shorten our bench up a little bit in this particular game. Obviously, we played with without more experienced players, and I, I realized that we, uh, I, we need to try to accelerate the progress of our rotation players so that maybe uh, they can give us a little bit more. I thought that, but I thought that Trent. And, I thought our veterans really, really held their own and did a very good job of executing our game plan. Uh, but uh, you, you don't have very many opportunities to make mistakes against a team as talented as Duke. And, and they were extremely well prepared. And, uh, we had to fight and claw and scratch for everything that we got. And that's normally the way it is against a Coach K, Coach T. You have a pretty quick turnaround having to go to pit. I mean, do, you, do you try to take good stuff from this and focus on it or you just junk it and move on? Well, you know, the, the basketball guards have been very good to us. <laughs> Coming out of the bat, we played against two number one ranked teams. And we had a hard, very hard fought game today and we play a game on Monday. Uh, that's extremely challenging. So we're going to have to you know, maximize our energy, make sure that our game preparation is solid without taking the out of them. And you got to move on. Um, regardless of who you're playing in the ACC, if you're not at your best, obviously something bad can happen. And we do have to put this behind us quickly and prepare ourselves to go on the road and play against a team that upset a very good Louisville team at home the other day. So we know they, they got our attention. Leonard, what was the vibe in the locker room? Were the guys you know, immediately resilient, or was it that of downtrodden just emotion? There? Obviously, they were extremely disappointed. And that's positive that they care about winning. And, uh, they were trying to lift some of the guys up who felt that uh, they didn't play as well as in certain situations. I think we're growing and maturing in some of those areas. We just got to make sure that we just bounce back. I mean, that's what it's not, it, you don't want to take any more victories away. We have a chance, and we got by, beat by a team to play a little better than we did today. They deserve to win. It's a little hard, I mean, to look at positives after that ending, but was today to feel like the next step in Fiondu's progression? Well, you know, philosophically, you know, you, you, you're talking about next step. You know, we have a long season, and you're going to have good games 
and you're going to have some games where you don't play quite that well. So I'm not going to try to judge him by the performance today. We're going to encourage him to keep doing the right thing, keep working, keep staying focused. And um, we were pleased with his effort today. And, uh, but I, I'm not ready to, uh, in the, this early in the season, to crown that he's made a, a next step. You know, maybe by March, you ask me that question, and I can give you a better assessment. Three games into the conference, um, how close are you to where you guys expect it to be at this point? I, I still think we have a, a lot of room for growth. I, I, I think that we, no question about that. I think we're getting better. And I think playing against a high quality team like, like Duke, uh, it, it, it lets you know where you are in terms of competing against the top teams in the country. Um, but the way the ACC's a regular season conference race is that you got is, is as much mental and emotional as it is physical. So we got to make sure that we recharge our batteries and get focused again because we, we, we can't go on the road now and, and come back with, without a, a W. We need to even ourselves out and come back to two and two and then hopefully we can take a, a few days off and regroup, and evaluate where we are and hopefully we can get better for our next album. Coach, you guys responded every time Duke threw a punch at you. So how does that build confidence for the club moving forward? Well, that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, that's that's basketball. Yes, and, and I think we're at the point where we're capable of doing it. I thought we were part. I thought that we executed very well, doing some very tough parts in the game. Uh, but uh, once again, coming close just doesn't count. Maybe it doesn't horse you, but not in basketball. Right. And, uh, we just got to learn from this game, evaluate it. But I'm concerned right now we've got to regroup mentally. I'm sure they're very disappointed. That's probably biggest thing we have to do is make sure that we bounce back you know, from, and be prepared on Monday. Thank you very much.